Good day, Sven the Slayer here once again, and welcome back to Star Made. This will be another rail demonstration video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing off this little car that I built, and what it can do. So, the car itself is a pretty simple little thing, it doesn't even have to be a car, you could do this for uh, mech battles as well. And, so, you sit in the seat, and I can tell the car to drive forward, as you see the car is now driving forward. And then I can also switch it into reverse if I want to go backwards, forward, and then any point I can turn the car and it'll now drive in that direction. And I can drive anywhere across this platform, and this platform can be as big or as small as I want. I could make tur turn it into a road, and I will only be able to drive on that road surface. And occasionally there's some uh, logic bugs which happen which will break it, but overall it seems to be pretty reliable. I don't know, I haven't been able to uh, nail down exactly what causes it to fail, and going backwards is a, a little wonky as it drives forward and then goes backwards after you turn. I could fix that with a little bit of extra circuitry, and there we just got a double turn, which it shouldn't be doing, and now it's um, driving the wrong direction, and I'll have to go reset the circuit for that. But, um, yeah, that's just one of the problems, so... The car itself is this car here, and then below it is the core on the rail, and this rail is just a giant platform. And then down here is all the logic for the thing, which isn't that complex. I just have my uh, direction controller here, here's the, the wireless things, and this is forwards, backwards, left and right. And what this circuit does here is essentially it just rotates position. So when I tell it to go right, or that was left, it'll move it left one position, and then left one position. And as it's doing that, it'll trigger one of these uh, rotator blocks, which will rotate the car. And then after a second, it'll go back into this, which is the directions. So whichever one of these is selected, and forward or backwards, we'll choose the direction of the rails here. So that's how the whole thing works. It's it's very simple. Um, just a little bit of basically conditional statements to make sure that only the right thing's firing. So some of the bugs I have is you know it'll it'll get locked in a state like that, and it shouldn't. Just the way it's wired, that shouldn't be possible but it happens, I don't know why, and I've even had it where it'll go in a state like that and break, but overall it's it's mostly reliable and probably um, more lag-based. To fix it, you just have to jump off, redock, and I'm still going sideways Let's with that. There we go, now I'm going forward. And that's about it, so um, you could also build like a, a track or like an arena uh, that can have multiple uh, mechs or cars, whatnot, fighting it out. Yeah, see, so it did a double turn again. That should not be possible. I don't know why it's... Because <laughs> it should turn, and then try to move to the next rail before being able to turn again. But it's... I guess maybe it's at like just the gap between two rails and it's turning moving to the next rail and then turning immediately that, that's that's my only guess it's just bad timing I don't think there's much I can do about it. now it's doing it all the time like it's probably also lag for me recording but in uh in my standard tests it was a little more um, reliable and to to have multiple cars up here, you'd have to have uh, one platform per car. So you'd have the the platform of the rails, and then the logic controlling it, and all the wireless signals going to that one. And then you have another platform with all the logic, and then just have more space between the little cart here and the car above. So, like, I could put another platform down here and then just have the car and then, you know, the, it docked to it down there. 
as long as break off physics aren't enabled, it will work just fine. Um, yeah, so that's my demonstration for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, and I will see you in the next video.